heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? So I got a chance to check out this Tyson Fury versus Vladimir Klitschko face to face via uh, Box Nation. Um, a lot of psychological warfare going on. I can tell you that much. Uh, you know, Tyson Fury just seems like the type of guy, man. Before I recap this, I'm just gonna uh, go over this real quick. He seems like the type of guy. He wants to be the underdog. He doesn't want love. He doesn't want uh, for you to favor him. It seems as if he wants to be the bad guy so it can be self-motivation. He he you know he wants to say things that are going to make people uncomfortable or make you you know scratch your head and say what the hell did he just say? It's like he wants to do that, man. To me, that's when he's most motivated. Um, when he's acting, you know, crazy and saying you know outlandish and being a little bit belligerent sometimes with some of the things that he says and does that's when i know that he's focused if he would have came into this face off being very calm um as, as far as because he i'm not say that he wasn't calm but i mean if he would have came into this just not being himself just being like vlad just being really relaxed being kind of dry um some of you say it's professional so you know then i'll have a problem you know I like Tyson Fury when he's untamed. And uh, it's funny, man, because Vladimir, you know, and he's saying what a lot of his fans are saying. A lot of people think he's going to win the fight. And that's the old, uh, just need to let my hands go. And he's the fighter, you know, Vladimir Klitschko, 18 successful title defenses, you know. Uh, 10 plus year reign. I just don't get half the... I just don't get after all those title defenses and over a decade of reigning, how a guy this professional, um, this good like Vladimir just forgot to just throw his hands on fight night. I'm just, uh, you're not going to fool me with that one, man. Now, could he throw his hands more than he did? Is there is, um, could he do it? Yes, he could. But to me, there was a reason why he wasn't letting his hands go. And that's what I just keep, I keep going back on, man. I just, and the reason was because Tyson Fury is very awkward. He wasn't there to be hit. And he was posing a problem for Vladimir using his own jab, posturing, sticking his tongue out, doing a whole bunch of awkward stuff that just kind of threw Vladimir off. Now, is it possible that Vladimir can figure all this out? Um, even going into a rematch of the guy that's bigger and younger than him? Uh, possibly. It possibly can happen, man. Um... Tyson Fury, it's funny because in this in this little face off, man, he you know he went back and forth with Vladimir as far as um you know he asked Vladimir so you were trying to lose, you know getting on the whole Vladimir not throwing his hands and it was weird because Vladimir was pretty much agreeing that yeah it was you know he wasn't really trying and he lost and then later on in the face off he said no I wasn't trying to lose on purpose. I just think Vladimir should just be on some like a yes, no, say his piece, but don't get into a debate or discussion with Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury is going to turn to the discussion or the debate in his favor regardless. Even if you're attacking him, he'll help you attack himself. You know, he's like he's like one of those guys. Like if you were to say, "Yeah, man, you're not no uh you know, you're not really the uh unified champion you're you, you know you, you're not really that good you're not really the uh, lineal champ he'll agree with you even though that he is he'll still agree with you just to make it go back in his favor like the guy is you got to be careful man when you want to do psychological warfare with him i would just let him talk say my piece i won't even answer his questions you know what i mean i just wouldn't get caught in his web man tyson fury has a web and <sighs> I'm not gonna say he was getting under Vladimir's skin, but he had Vladimir kind of contradict himself a little bit. At least that's what I heard. You know, I could be wrong, but uh, both guys seem confident. Vladimir, you know, he swears he's gonna let his hands go more, man. And if he does, it's gonna be an entertaining fight for us fans. Uh, the betting odds, you can tell the odds maker they not really convinced with Tyson Fury. Even they don't know. The last time I checked, it was a minus one fifteen for both guys. So it's a pick 'em fight. The odds makers don't even have a favorite in this fight. Tyson Fury, not only what he says and he does, kind of makes you scratch your head a little bit. And even what he did to Vladimir on fight night of their first fight made you scratch your head a little bit. He's just so unpredictable, 
unorthodox. He's like a like a Michael Spinks sort of like when Spinks fought Holmes, just Spinks irky jerky movements and he'll leap in with combinations and just I mean just the whole just his rhythm is just it's hard to time. You know, and um he was able to out jab Vladimir. And we know that Vladimir's jab is one of his key weapons, man. If you, if uh, Vladimir can't out jab you to control the distance, he's going to have problems. You know, a lot of fans just think we take away his best weapon. Some people are just making it seem as if he doesn't even really need the jab. He just needs to just land hard right hands and hard left hooks. And fair enough, he does. But he has to set it up, too, with his all-time great jab. Interesting face-off, man. Uh, it's, it's real interesting. I'm watching it again here while I'm doing this video. And Vladimir, he's a guy that loves to be in control, man. And uh, he just, whether it comes to them talking to each other or what I've seen in that first fight, it's hard for him to be in control of this situation. I commend Vladimir for being a long reign of champion. I commend Vladimir for going to other guys' countries and giving them title shots. And now he's going over to the UK to fight uh, Fury as a challenger. I give him credit, man, for traveling. You know, I give Vladimir credit for his defenses and everything like that. But I'm, I'm going to stick with my pick, man. I'm going to go with Fury. I just think this is one of those situations where it's a Spinks Holmes type of situation, man. Um... Now, there have been champions that have came back and won their titles, okay? Lennox Lewis, Rockman, uh, Floyd Patterson, uh, Igamar Johansson, uh, Ali versus Leon Spinks. I mean, I go back and forth with this. Um, Evander Holyfield, Riddick Bow. But this is a, just a little bit different to me because Vladimir is 40 years old. He's going against a fresher, younger guy who was just as big or even bigger than him. Um... I guess we'll see how this plays out. I could be wrong, man. Vladimir can go in there and knock this guy out. But uh, Tyson Fury is just full of mind games. I don't know what to believe or when to believe him. I just think that he wants people to look at him as an underdog, no matter what. Even if he did beat Vladimir, he slayed the giant, so on and so forth. He still wants you to look at him like he's not shit. He wants that. I think that motivates him and it drives him. Some athletes are just like that, man. That's just how some athletes are. They like to be, <laughs> you know, they like for their uh, resume and their skill level to be dissected and, and shit on. And it motivates some guys, man. Some some guys don't want a, a, a hero's welcome, you know. Just a quick recap. Both guys seem confident, you know, but I just think Vladimir is falling into the web of Tyson Fury's mind games just a little bit now just a little bit but when Fury dresses up like Batman and he's running around and <clears throat> he's just doing all these unorthodox outlandish things man if you fall into it he's going to win the mind game but just my opinion on this I'm curious to hear yours in the comments section I'm out